so we're gonna try and do this jump drift one more time. Oh, that's bad. Almost a reverse entry. Uh, I mean, okay, I will take that. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Torque Drift for episode three. We are here today to take a look at all the tracks that are in the Torque Drift beta. So definitely still been having a lot of fun with this. Big thank you to the game devs for allowing me to make this content. So we are going to get into it as we have a bunch of uh, drift things set up, which we can get into tandems. But I kind of want to take this episode and show you guys the track. So. In the practices, you see we have Ocean's Drive, The Yard, uh, Seshnin, The Slab, Hakono, or Hakon, however you say that, and Cali Banks. So in practice session, the tracks are full circuit. So we're just going to start off at The Yard, and we'll go track by track, give you guys a little rundown on the tracks. We are running the 618 horsepower LS turbocharged S15. So. The yard is pretty sweet because uh, it has this uh, very awesome jump drift to start. And in practice session, you do gain money. So the yard has this awesome jump drift in the beginning, which we were actually not that bad on the jump drift. Normally, uh, totally wreck the car out because it's so low. But it's cool because they do have the clipping points and such in the tracks in practice. So you can get a chance to practice the lines. Ooh. That was just a tap, but we are good. Slid down a little bit. I probably should have uh, tried to use my finger to handbrake and stand the gas so I don't lose my power. So this track is very nice. It's very, uh, I guess you could say, uh, sweepy. It's got uh, some elevation changes, which totally screwed up there. There's a lot of elevation changes in this track, which is nice. The jump drift is probably my favorite part about this track. Um, as you can see, like in practice session, you can just get, you know, get sideways, have fun with it, get practice on all the lines. Now, each time you do tandem sections in the actual game, there's certain sections of it, so it's not always the same section. There's certain sections of the track that has a wall tap. So that was the yard, or the uh, yeah, the yard. So we're gonna try and do this jump drift one more time. Oh, that's bad. Almost a reverse entry. Uh, I mean, okay. I will take that. So the yard is a lot of fun with that jump drift section. You do need to uh, raise the car up because I did notice every time I take the jump drift, I uh, kind of smack the front end of the car down and do some damage to it and uh, we'll lose our bumper there. So that's the yard. That's one of the tracks that are in the game. So we're going to uh, go back to the menu, check out another track here on Torque Drift um, and get more into it. So we have the yard. Now we have Ocean Drive. Which is another uh, pretty sweepy track. I mean, all the tracks are pretty sweepy. These ones are pretty long. Uh, Cali Banks and the Slab are pretty short tracks, um, and they don't loop around. You kind of have to flip it around to continue driving the track. So we are here at the next track, and uh, we're gonna rip this today. So, like I said, if, I am definitely enjoying this torture of beta. If you guys are do not have the beta, make sure you guys try and get into the beta. I will leave the link in the description box below on where you can request a beta link through uh, Grease Monkey Games. So I do have a lot of fun just throwing practice laps, trying to tune the car a little better, trying to hit these clips out here. There we go. Throw a quick transition this way. Flick it back, trying to hold angle. We lost some drift points there, but we're going to try and get these clips in front of our car. So it is a lot of... Um, a lot of clip points and these tracks are pretty big so it is a, a lot of points and like i said you do gain money when you're drifting just in practice as you can see up top we are gaining like 41 dollars you gain a dollar for every thousand that was a really hard flick i didn't think i was gonna make that so you could spend here all day and just drift the tracks and have fun with it hopefully soon maybe they will do uh special events which i did see a custom event tab but it's not available yet where we can maybe make uh, make some uh, custom, like, I guess, sections or lobbies and such, and maybe just, you know, have open sessions with friends and just get tandems and stuff. I don't know how that's going to work in there. I did try and get a contact with the devs to see about when an actual release date is, because I know a couple of you guys are commenting asking when it's actually going to be released. 
So I did send a message out to the game devs to see if I could find maybe a possible release date. Um, I know, I believe they have no more Android spots. I'm not sure if they have any more Apple spots available for the actual beta. So I'm definitely glad that I was able to get a spot in the beta and they allowed me to uh, start bringing you guys content for those who do not have the beta. So this is like, like I said, this is a very long track. And uh, as you can see, it just keeps going. And, uh, well, we lost our bumper. We lost our rear bumper. We are in the little donut section of the track. It's almost like a roundabout. Actually, it is a roundabout, so, you know, we're gonna have to throw this in a roundabout for the Horizon 3 style. And I believe it just moves back around to the end of the track. So I definitely have a lot of fun just kicking it sideways when there are events that I don't either don't want to compete in or already have been in it and don't feel like doing it again. So I do like trying to go backwards on the tracks, trying different sections, trying to fine tune my line and also fine tune the car. And as you can see, this is a very, very long track. Right now I'm nowhere near the clipping points on those turns and we're gonna smack the barriers. Luckily we didn't flip our car. This car is pretty, pretty mangled. But it's a drift car. Luckily we don't have to pay for repairs because that would just be so much more interesting if we had to pay for repairs. I totally forgot how long this track was, but uh, there's a lot of S sections. So there's a lot of cool sections that I believe they don't use yet. So it'll be sweet if they implement all of them and allow us to do all the sections. And see, we are back, I believe, pretty much close to the beginning. I'm waiting to see the little lights, which is the beginning. That was a hard wall. I believe it is right after this ass right by the boats is back to the beginning of the track. Kick it back up. Oh, maybe I was wrong. So this is a very long track. You can just spend a lot of time just getting sideways on this track and uh, throwing some lines, trying to get some wall rides and stuff. Because we still have not completed one lap on this track yet. And we've been going for a very, very long time. Unless we did complete a lap and I wasn't paying attention, but I don't think we did. Nope, because I don't remember this turn, because I would have probably blasted that wall already. So this, like I said, is probably one of the biggest tracks out in this Ocean's Drive. There is the mountain circuit, which we'll get into here too, which is a lot of fun, because you can run it uphill or downhill. So you can run it both ways, however you feel like it. And, uh, yeah, that's... Like I said, this is an extremely long track. I don't think. Oh, oh. Apparently we can uh, try and 50-50 grind. A we'll, uh, little jump drift out of there. But the physics are actually kind of funny when it comes to uh, hitting walls and barriers. I mean, the car would probably launch just like it did on me if you were to hit the barrier at that speed. So I think, yep, there we go. This is the beginning of the track, where it all starts. So as you can see, this track is extremely long and uh, extremely fun. So if you guys have not just ripped these tracks, you know, make sure you tr give it a shot and just send these tracks and have a lot of fun just getting sideways and seeing more of the track. So we're gonna head to the next track now because uh, we finally finished that Ocean Drive track. You drift, practice, and the next track is the slab. So the slab is just basically a quick track. There's really no uh, loop around, so you kind of have to run it forward and backwards, so it's a quick track. So we are going to run our S15 and all these because I am loving this new S15 with uh, the upgraded Wise Fab in the front and uh, all the power of the LS. So the slab is, you know, just initiating in there. Kicking it, trying to run it out wide here, and then trying to run it in between the wall and that without hitting it. And you can pretty much link this entire track if you can uh, use your index finger and keep on power because I seem to keep losing power when I hit handbrake and get off the throttle. So I'm trying to use my index finger and <laughs> my uh, thumb for throttle. So like I said, the slab kind of goes this way and then pretty much ends right here. 
So in order for you to go back to do it again, you would pretty much just have to flip around and run it backwards. But you don't get clipping points when you run it backwards. You would actually have to just cut this way and cut back into into the track. So you can still see where the clipping points are even if they're not highlighted for your times score. So the slab, like I said, it's a quick little uh, little track, but it is a fun it is a fun sweeping track. Definitely good for tandems. I've had a lot of uh, very interesting tandem battles at the slab, which we'll get into more. And then we have this track, the next track. I can't even pronounce it correctly, so pardon my uh, language on not saying that correctly. We're just going to hop right into it, just giving you guys an overview of all the tracks here on Torque Drift on the beta. I'm not sure if they're going to be bringing more tracks. Hopefully they do. So this one is a quick, tight initiation. And usually I tend to lose power there because I don't use my index finger. And it's a kickback. It's a, it's a very uphill section. And we're going to tackle the walls. And we can't get off this barrier. You would think the barrier would not stop us, but it did. So like I said, this track is not a track that I've actually driven a lot on. Definitely going to be probably driving a lot more on this track to get used to it. We should have been wider on that section. But I, it is really cool how they have the clipping points on the practice session too, so you can kind of get a feel of trying to get the certain lines down on these tracks. And, yep. I feel like my LS is dying for some reason. It does not have the power I want it to at the moment. Probably need to fine tune the clutch and the brakes. We just completely failed on initiation. So, if you guys are still enjoying these Torque Drift beta videos, let me know down in the comment section down below. Like I said I have tried to contact the game devs to see about when possible releases for everything and I will leave the link in the description box below for those who want to try and request a beta invite. I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure how many uh, spots are available still for each platform. I do not believe there's any Android platform spots left uh, and I'm not sure on iPhone platforms. Oh, it wants us to swallow through here. Oh, I forgot about that. We're just going to kick that hard e-brake in there and see if we can't stay on throttle and we died throttle. That's the only thing I'm finding is a little bit flaky with the game. If you try and use e-brake off throttle and get back on throttle, the car doesn't like to uh, get back on throttle. So you kind of got to use your finger, your index finger, or your pointer finger, and your thumb simultaneously to stay on throttle so you don't lose RPMs. Kind of like that. And it helps out a little bit better. So that's this track. So we're going to head to the next one. And, uh... Actually, it's after this turn. So we're going to head to the next track, which I believe is going to be the mountain circuit. What did I just do? We have gears? No, I didn't even know that was a thing. I just tapped in the middle of the screen. And apparently we have a tachometer? That's a thing? Oh. So we are running 22 pounds of boost in third gear. Apparently this is a thing. And you can see the RPMs drop. I did not even know that that was a thing. You can't see your drift points though. So that's the only thing. I'm not sure if this is a thing that you can do in the normal. But uh, I just tapped into the middle of the screen and uh, got a uh, cluster. Well. See, look, finding things about in the beta that I didn't even know existed until now. So you guys saw it here first. I don't think anybody else knows about that. Unless they do, and um, nobody said anything. Next track we are going to is the Mountain Circuit. It's probably the longest and uh, most glitchy track when it comes to frame rate because there's a lot of stuff. I am running on um, high settings, so on ultra settings, I believe. So hopefully my frame rate is not too bad and we don't have a lot, a lot of frame rate lag. So the mountain circuit is a lot of fun to drift. There's a lot of nice turns and a lot of sections in this. And it is a very, it's a narrow track, so it is almost like Fujimi Kaido in Forza, but not Fujimi Kaido. 
as you can see, because we're running a lot of close wall runs, as well as wrecking our car. You're pretty much doing a lot of close calls, as you can see right there, frame rate issues. We're going to keep our bumper away from us, because normally we run about 60 frames a second, but right now, here on this, we're only running about 33. So the track is pretty, pretty frame rate heavy. Um, I think it's because of all this scenery, and we are stuck. It probably has to do, like I said, with all the scenery. And did I break my front end of my car, or did I go to the aim? Oh. Apparently, we glitched the game and had to restart. So that's a first for me. So. Like I said, this, this track is very, uh, very cumbersome on a phone. Uh, my iPhone tends to get pretty warm when I'm playing on this track, and the frame rate with one car tends to drop a lot. Because normally we're running about 60 frames a second, but uh, in this track we're only running about 30, and when you get another car involved on there, the frame rate can tend to drop a lot. Uh, just because it's a big open track with a lot of scenery trying to get control of this so you guys can actually get a see some of these turns that are in this track. Like I said, if you guys do have the beta, if you guys have frame rate issues in this track as well. I don't want to drop my graphic settings just to run this track, but I may have to because there's some pretty bad frame rate lag. Especially when you get a second car on there. Oh, that was a nice little wall tap flick. Like I said, this track is very big, and it's very fun, especially when you come back down on the downhill section, which I will definitely run downhill. That was a really nice wall ride if I would have been able to pull off of the wall. I think we're going to pull our uh, cluster back because, like I said, I didn't even know that existed. Apparently, we're still running 20 pounds of boost. That's a lot of boost. 13 volts on our 13.8. 103 on our temp. Hopefully we don't overheat our car. And I think we only have five gears in this car. Alright, let's go back to drift scores. So, like I said, if you guys are playing on this and you guys have frame rate issue on this track, let me know down in the comment section down below because I think there's a lot of people that have a frame rate issue on this. So I'm hoping that maybe that frame rate issue gets fixed! I thought we were going to go over the bridge, but we didn't. But like I said, this track is a lot of fun. If you can get it right and don't get frame rate, you know, screwed up on when trying to drive. So I just wanted to bring you guys the tracks that are here in the beta for this episode and give you guys a little idea of the tracks if you do not have the game. These are just some of the tracks. I'm not sure if there will be more tracks coming when the game is actually released. I will, any information I have, I will bring to you guys when I get it. Um, just like I said, I did send a message to the game devs to see if they know it possible or if they will give me the possible release date. Um, it's not a matter of if they will or if they know, and they may not want to uh, give that to somebody like me. But then again, you never know. So, these are really nice sweeping turns if I wasn't at 17 frames a second. Because, uh, as you can see, the frame rate dropped dramatically through certain sections. And I believe we're coming close to the end of this section. I mean, I will take this really long wall ride, though. Too bad I wasn't getting drift points. Wait, why am I not getting drift points? Oh, it's because we're ending. So that was the end of that track. I think I turned off my drift points. I think you can turn them off. You can. So this is the end of the mountain section. So we're going to go finally to the Cali Banks, which I have shown you guys a few times. Um, we're going to try and get a clean run on Cali Banks. So it seems for some reason when we try to go to Cali in a tandem, we get some serious frame rate lag when I'm recording. I don't know if it's just because of it being a tandem. You can see right now, I'm wondering, we are in just a practice session and we have 
60 frames a second, and we are pretty good here at Kelly Banks right now. It's not dropped. See, it hasn't dropped, but when we are on an online session, it seems to drop to like 12, which makes it pretty much undriftable. So, I'm probably going to end this episode off here. My phone is getting very hot. That could also be it, because this game does kind of heat up the phone a little bit, especially when I'm recording it to and streaming it to a TV through the Elgato into my recording software and everything. So until next time, guys, like, thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'm out.